I guess we'll maybe just give it some arms in the hopes that these make it a little bit faster somehow. This is without a doubt the perfect creature. It makes it look kind of hairy when it's got all the wigglers all over it. This poor creature was so much better off just never existing. But since this is my hands now, it's going to be a carnivore and we're going to try to make evolution itself cry today. We're going to name our planet Doom because that's the most probable outcome. Now it's just like we've seen a million times before, eat as many things as possible to get their parts and experience, grow our creature into something disturbing. I love it! It's got so many eyes! It can definitely see what's coming for it. You know, I'm all for covering my creatures with all sorts of parts, but I wouldn't go for eyes. Where's the fun in that? I'm not even really getting experience for eating these. I'm just really enjoying it because they're so scared. That's so happy my creature looks when he's chasing it. He's like, oh yeah, I can't wait to put that in my mouth. And with one more bite of the eyeball creature, we get a little bit bigger so we can find some new things to eat, which includes some that bite back. So we're going to kill one of them, hopefully taking some of their parts because I like to have options. And ramming speed. Okay, well, maybe not do that one again. You turn around. If it's beak to beak, nothing happens. But if you get to the other side of it, yeah, that's the side we like. We're on the business end of things now. Nothing. Nothing happened. We weren't getting greedy. I want one of these guys. I want some of the little feeler things. I don't know what they do, but I want to cover my creature in them. When you see the new part appear, swim over and collect it. Well, there's a free one. I'm not really sure what parts we even can collect, but we're going to work hard to find them all. Definitely getting bigger now. I'm bigger than mostly everything at this size, but I think I'm about to grow up one more time. And there we go. Now we're playing with some bigger critters. We've still only found one of the six parts we need. That one's got a lot of eyes, but it's way faster than I am. Oh, never mind. We hit a fast spot. No new parts though. I need the parts. I can keep this up all day if you can, my friend. Yeah, that's what I thought. Those eyes are so focused on the target always. I love it. It's so creepy. Oh, okay, I got the big one, but that one bit me. Still no parts. So every one of these pink pieces I ate seems to give me one evolution point, whatever they're called. One. Still the most basic of creatures, but I'm still making a mess of everyone else. Can I kill this big guy? Nope. I'm too small for this one still. I found another part though. What is it? Speed. Oh, we're gonna have a quick creature. Yeah, if we're quick, we can take over the entire ocean. You know what? We're gonna get started on that right now. Oh, don't touch that. Calling a mate because I think we need to make a new generation to be able to evolve this thing. Two of six parts. I need the rest. And naturally, I installed a mod to make all the parts cheaper, so there are only five evolution points for anything I want. So the squiggly thing on the back actually makes me quicker, but not as quick as my new water jet, so I'll get five points for getting rid of that. Do we need eyes? Do we need two eyes? We probably don't need eyes. Oh, well, what do we got here? Oh, we can adjust the size of it. We're going to make it uh, sausage shaped. Yeah, I think we're just going to make it as big as possible because the more like outer perimeter we have, the more room we have to put parts on it. We definitely want to go fast, so we'll give us some jets out the back, but I do also want to put a beak on the back, that way things can stop touching me from behind. Melts work best on the front of the creation. Don't tell me how evolution works. You know why? Because I don't even know which end the front is anymore. Without eyes, it's hard to tell. Either end could be the business end. And maybe some more squigglies for speed. Oh yeah, those can overlap and everything. Maybe we should just make it super fast for now and kind of see how that works. Can we put that over the beak? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Why not? Then naturally we need more beaks. That way nothing can touch us anywhere. And you know what? Let's just go for a little more speed if we can. We can have the fastest creature on the ocean. Let's add more of those. And we're out of money for now. But you know what? I'm pretty happy with what we got so far. We don't even need eyes. The name of my creature is going to be a uh, Franny. And the description of it is going to be horrible. It's just a horrible creation. Starting to see the benefit of eyes. But if I play zoomed in, I don't even notice we don't have eyes anyway. Yeah, this is going to work great. We hardly even have to try at this point anything we touched eyes. Look how big we are. It already can't get any better than this. This is already like the perfect creature. Look at it. Nothing can get away from it. It's the ultimate predator. Can't touch me from the front. Can't touch me from the back. Super fast and no idea where I'm going. I'm just plowing on straight. Normally you need eyes to find food. But when you got mouths all over your body, you're just going to eat stuff anyway. Oh, why does that one get to be so big? Oh, give me the parts. Did I get it? Omnivore. Uh, proboscis? Proboscis? Whatever it is. Oh, we got a spiky one. Oh, I'm determined to eat that one now. If... Hmm, might have a flaw in our design. What is this? Oh, it's a part. Spit poison. That sounds like fun too. I didn't realize there's so many fun parts to this. Now this guy you can only touch from the back. And that's kind of difficult when I'm surrounded with mouths. It's very hard to be delicate. Believe it or not, this creature is no surgeon. Found another speedy creature. It's also covered in jets, but I'm covered in more, so I got to eat it. And I think I got the final part. Electrocute. Interesting. All right, well, we'll call him eight. Whoops. And uh, we'll see what we can turn this monstrosity into. Now, what could we possibly do to make this thing better? For starters, 
love to give it an eye just so we can actually see what we're doing. Then maybe I'm learning that fast turns might be a little bit helpful. So we'll put those at the front. We'll also give it like the worst color scheme ever, which is pretty much about that. Then since I'm not really using this middle area very much, I'll see if I can narrow that in a bit just so I have, you know, less surface area for things to touch. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Then maybe just a few defensive spikes to stop things from getting me from the side because I think that's my only weak point. And after this... I am one invincible creature. Nothing can stop me now. All right, time to test drive this monstrosity. You know what? I don't love the color. I wanted something maybe a little brighter. That way other things know when I'm coming to get them. Oh, is that more of me? Why are there more of me? This creature would never thrive in the wild. But we're getting bigger. We can eat that thing one bite. Oh, remember these? These used to be so much bigger than me. Oh, look at that one. Okay, get around the backside and we're going to get that one. There's no way it's faster than... I am. Oh, no, nope. get away from that one. I'm going to have so many points to spend by the end of this. I'm just going to cover this thing in parts. Ow. It really is nice to get to test drive this thing. Hey, it's one of me. I know your weaknesses. Because then we learn what does work and what doesn't work, and I can make adjustments as I go. Oh, look how fast that one is. I want to be that quick. I might have to change this up a little bit. That thing could outrun me. You can run, little creature, but I'm way faster than you are. At least I thought I was. Look at that thing go. It is actually just about outrunning me. Okay, turns out little creatures can fit between my spikes. And they can be a little bit quicker than me still. So my next upgrade is going to involve some more speed. All right, mate has been called. Let's give ourselves we get enough for three more parts. Perfect. And I've decided that I need a pretty major overhaul. These spikes aren't really doing it for me. What we need are even more jets for speed. And if we're going to be that quick, we don't need the mouth on the rear side. Then we're just going to put spikes either side to annoy things more than anything. Then I'm kind of thinking there's more jets for more speed. Does it matter which direction they face? It probably does. I don't really know. We'll just cram as many as we can right onto the back. We're going to be the fastest creature there ever was. And I'm pretty sure these are also speed, but not as much. So since we get the cheaper price for everything, let's just go full on with those. All right. I don't really want anything else. I just want to be able to ram things at super high speed. So we'll go more jets and more jets. And then still more money for so, uh, you know what? More jets. There we go. The perfect creature. At least it is now that we've turned it red. Red means business when you're underwater. You see a red fish, you know it's coming for you. And I've just now for the first time found the complexity meter. If this meter is full, you can't add any more parts and it's maybe two thirds full. I want more parts. So we'll take a little Ferrari here and uh, see if we can gather more points for more parts. I feel like it could be faster still. Like, I want this thing to be so fast that no one knows what it's running into. I just can't get over how gorgeous this magnificent creature is. Uh, okay. What's, my brain's getting smaller? This creature doesn't need much of a brain. It just jets in one direction. You're on the path to sentience. When you're ready to stretch your legs in a big wide open, click the advance button. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Seems that I can't get any more evolution points at this point anyway, so I might have to. Because even eating one of those things, yeah, I'm still only at five points. What about you, blue thing? Do you give me points? You're certainly not going to get away swimming that slow. There's a really big creature over here. I haven't seen one of these yet. Can I eat you? What's the point of adding all these parts if I can't even eat one of these? Come on, we can do this. It's got to give me points. Look how big it is. Wait, did I die? Where am I? Oh, I'm inside of it. That's weird. I'm so quick I can get right inside these creatures. Is it dead? Hello? Can I eat it? I'm not really sure how I managed. So I haven't seen one of these yet either. But my beak and horn thing combination on the front is actually really good. Because if things run into me straight, our mouths hit so we don't take damage. But then it gets spiked by me somehow. Come here. I just want to have a little taste. Get over here. Why would you put so many eyes on a creature? I'm curious now. Do more eyes make it better? And it's dead. Well, since I've only got five points left to spend. And it makes me curious if more eyes do have an effect. I think I can maybe zoom out more, which is interesting. Maybe we can see if there's anything out there worth getting. All right, we need to mate. I need to change my creature. We need more eyes. All right, let's just remove pretty much everything. I mean, they put surround view cameras on cars now. There's got to be a reason for that. Same thing applies to the evolution of creatures, I'm sure. I just really love the way it looks when it blinks. Yeah, we're going to put those right up front by the beak. That way they can get chewed right off right away. This is why I've never been put in charge of anything ever. All right, there we go. Not sure I can see any further, but I do have one ridiculous creature. This thing would exist just to be food for other creatures. It would have no, absolutely no practical use whatsoever. It's very slow, very defenseless, but it can see very well. So it would be able to see the things coming to eat it, which would be numerous. All right, well, I guess that leaves us with only one choice. Evolve legs and go to land. What did I have to touch? Advance to creature. Yep, let's do it. This timeline shows a history of the actions you have taken during your life as a cell. Yeah, we went from uh, whatever that was to the green thing, to the gray thing, to that thing, to that thing, to eyeballs. Somehow we ended up like the biggest carnivore ever on a creature that's just made of eyes. And I love it. I mean, great. I'm not sure there's anything I'm allowed to do here. So moving on. The game crashed.
There were so many eyes on that stupid creature that I think it crashed the game. Probably should have saved that beautiful creature before moving on. So now I've got to rebuild my poor creature piece by piece, and I worked so hard on that. Does this look about right? Looks right to me. Just realized how absolutely horrible it's going to be trying to level this thing up now because even the food zooms faster than me and all I have are eyeballs. I could probably see that food very well, but I just can't quite get to it. You know what? This kind of gives me an idea. I can buy all the parts for 5 points. I can sell all the parts for 5 points. So if I cover it in what I assume are more some of the more expensive parts, something like that with jets in every direction, which makes for an amazingly quick and terrifying creature, but then I uninstall the mod that makes all the parts cheap, is it possible to sell those parts for more than the 5 I paid for them? Sell for 25? It is. We're gonna make a ton of points right here. Bought them all for 5, selling for 25. So now we're left with this creature. Hopefully it lets me play as this thing. Nope, it needs a mouth at the very least. Well, there you go. You can have a mouth. We're gonna put it there just to make you extra terrible. The sad thing is, this probably isn't even the worst thing I've ever created in the game. Now I just gotta very painfully, slowly swim my way to the nearest mate and then we can evolve again. And like, I don't even know if I can do this quick enough to make it. 40 hours later, I found the one I needed to find. I'm definitely always leaving some kind of speed boost on this creature. And now we just cover it with some of the expensive parts again. And I'm going to use it to grind up a little bit, so we're going to need a beacon some spikes. Starting to run out of room a little bit for where to actually place these things, but our complexity thing is still moving up a little bit. I can't believe how many of these it's letting me put on this creature. If these actually work, this creature is going to move at light speed. And that's it, we're at capacity. I'm actually going to remove these spikes, put on more jets, just to make sure like it is as fast as possible. It's all jets with the exception of the mouth. Plus, we needed a new paint job. Now, let's see how quick it is. Do the jets make a difference? I don't know if they do at that point, but I've definitely got as many as I possibly can. No eyes though, so that's kind of detrimental. But I'm enjoying my horrible little creation, very much so. It's definitely very quick to accelerate. It can outrun anything. When something turns to get it, if I move away, I can get away, no problem. The problem is, I just move way too fast. And if I move too fast without eyes, I run into things that kill me, so we need a tweak. Starting with the eyes, those are important. Turns out you can surround the entire thing in beaks, which is awfully fun, and I'm not even halfway done in the complexity scale, so let's give this thing a speed boost and we'll be unbeatable. And we'll give it a turning radius, because it's pretty hard to not be able to turn this. While we're at it, we might as well give it some horns because we've still got room for stuff. Uh, oh, those replace the mouth, so I don't want to do that. Never mind. I guess we'll maybe just give it some arms in the hopes that these make it a little bit faster somehow. This is without a doubt the perfect creature. It makes it look kind of hairy when it's got all the wigglers all over it. One thing's for sure, it will rule the sea. All right, let's put it to the test. Hi guys, I'm covered in beaks, so I'm going to eat everything from every direction all at once. Doesn't matter if I hit you going forwards, backwards, side to side, inside out. <gasps> Hmm, I covered the thing in 4,000 beaks and it still gets defeated. But it's an interesting design overall. I don't know how things are finding a way through my beaks, but they sure are. Like, you'd think that this creature wouldn't be able to hurt me because there's nothing but beaks everywhere, but it can get me from there. Maybe I missed some beaks on the back. It's kind of hard to see everything now because my creature is so covered in parts. At least I'm nice and fast so I can get away from most other creatures. Except for this one, it really seems to want me. Learning now that spikes are probably the way to go. Melts are fun for eating, spikes are way better for defense and hurting things. But I'm going to commit to my delusion. This is the best creature there ever was in the ocean. I was having so much fun, I kind of lost track of things. I guess I'm getting legs now. Provided the game can handle it. It didn't like my eyeball creation. I doubt it's going to like this one. Yup, so as soon as I try and evolve it, the game crashes. It's just got too many parts for it to handle. Which is a shame because I really want to see this beauty with some legs. Though it's not too much to ask, could we just make it work this time? It's not looking good. All right, I've uninstalled the mod to see if that makes a difference. And it does. Interesting. Too many parts. Look how expensive the parts get, though. That means we've got to sell some stuff before we get here. Why can't I control how big the eyes are? Yeah, that is exactly what I wanted when I think of a creature. Anyways, if legs cost up to 50 points each, we're going to need a lot of points. We have 155 points currently. After selling everything, 605. Turns out you can have a maximum of 999 evolution points, and I didn't know this whole time I could have been adjusting the size of everything, so I missed out on half the fun. So you want some legs. I'll give you some legs. I don't know how many there are. They all phase together, but that's as many as we could possibly fit. We still have 950 evolution points left over. This is why you don't tell me you need something. If you do, you're going to get a thousand of them. And that's on an early day. I mean, I just figured it told me that we needed legs to move on to land. I figured the more the better. And I wasn't wrong. This is one beautiful creation. It's kind of like an octopus that grew too many legs and then made it onto land. And it makes me wish we could have put more on there. But that's maybe a project for next time.